TB is still a high burden disease worldwide. Globally, 10 million people fell ill with TB every year. In Pakistan, the incidence of TB is 580,000 new cases every year. Pakistan is fifth among the 30 high burden countries. The Global Fund Stop TB Partnership are leading the innovative screening program in the country with the support of the local NGOs like the Pasi Foundation. We primarily use sputum for microscopy for the screening purpose, but it requires a lot of time and skills. Really, we also use PCR or Gene Expert, which is very expensive for a resource constrained country like Pakistan. X ray was an ideal tool for screening, but X ray is a heavy machine and requires a lot of power supply and the mobility is also an issue and also requires a radiologist to read the images. Calneozyre is an innovative machine. It is a super compact type of X-ray, weighs about 3.5 kilograms only and it is battery driven. It is equipped with artificial intelligence that has the capacity to suggest the TB suspected area and can be used in remote and difficult to reach settings. It hardly takes 10 to 15 seconds for an image to be taken and transfer it to the Neonet Insight X-ray artificial intelligence system and the finding of comprehensive report on 10 indicators which are like nodule consolidation, pneumothorax, atelectasis, calcification, cardiomegaly, fibrosis, mediastinal widening, pleural effusion or pneumoperitoneum and it claims the accuracy of 98%. So far, our study experience has been exciting and we are looking forward for promising results and further expansion of the intervention beyond this pilot study. In this era of, uh, you know, technology, we are now having more innovative ideas about uh, uh, the diagnosis and uh, I think artificial intelligence is one of them. And for that purpose, uh, we now have uh, a special technique, uh, uh, which is uh, called as CalNeo X-ray X -ray machine, which is a sort of very innovative machine. And uh, it, it, it may solve the purpose uh, of a radiologist and it may help uh, for early detection of uh, tuberculosis on the basis of certain findings. So uh, there are very uh, various advantages of this X-ray machine. Number one is that it's a very light weighted machine and uh, it has got a dedicated software uh, through artificial intelligence, we can diagnose that this person is having tuberculosis. It has got a very high accuracy rate and uh, very small findings, uh, which are basically the subject biased and depends upon the expertise and skills of radiologists. Uh, I think this machine is able to detect those findings within minutes. So um, I think it's going to be a great idea to have this machine and uh, it has got a very good software. Uh, uh, which is uh, called Unit Inside Chest X-ray Artificial Intelligence Software and uh, it is uh, detecting some of the findings uh, uh, on the basis of which uh, we can find out that uh, this person is probably having tuberculosis. Um, since uh, this X-ray machine is very lightweighted and it, uh, it can be moved to far-flung areas where actually the portable uh, uh, machines uh, which are heavy one, uh, they cannot be reached. I think the, this, uh, this is going to, uh, going, going to be a great thing uh, for the diagnosis. And uh, another thing is that uh, in this machine, uh, by using this machine, there is a very minimum exposure to radiation as compared to the conventional thing. Another very important thing is that we are having a lot of uh, missing cases of tuberculosis, uh, especially in the far flung areas, just because of the fact that we cannot uh, uh, mobilize our resources to those areas. So this machine is a handheld machine and it can be carried to all those outreach areas where uh, huge X-ray machines cannot be taken, where the facility of radiologists is not available. So so I think uh, it's uh, going to be a revolution uh, in the diagnosis of suspected cases. I'd just like to comment on the Calneo XA technology. I've just uh, had uh, the privilege of uh, having a go through of that. I think it's uh, got uh, excellent digital imaging uh, in it. Um, the quality is, is very good and uh, I would really like to advocate this and encourage um, my other researchers and colleagues to use this technology and go forward in diagnosing not only TB, COVID and other uh, such chest x-ray related abnormalities in which they can go to far flung areas and benefit people who do not have access to facilities at tertiary hair care centers.